So here we have some place value counters, and these can help us to understand how our number system works. So first we have one million counter. We can always exchange any counter for 10 counters from the place value to the right. So we could exchange our million counter for 10 hundred thousands counters, because 10 hundred thousands has the same value as one million. If we have one hundred thousands counter, we can exchange that for 10 ten thousands counters, because 10 ten thousands has the same value as one hundred thousand. If we have one ten thousand counter, we can exchange that for ten thousands counters. If we have one thousands counter, we can exchange that for ten hundreds. One hundred can be exchanged for ten tens. One ten can be exchanged for ten ones. And one one can be exchanged for ten tenths. So now we're getting into decimal place value. Now I've written one tenth on these counters, but I could also have written 0.1, because 0.1 is one tenth in decimal form. If we have one one tenth counter, we can exchange that for ten hundredths counters, because ten hundredths has the same value as one tenth. And again, instead of writing 1 over 100, I could have written 0.01 on these counters. If we have 1 hundredth, we can exchange that for 10 thousandths counters. So, we can always exchange a counter for 10 counters from the place value to the right. We can exchange the other way as well. So, if we've got 10 hundred thousands counters, we can exchange those for one million counter. If we have 10 ten thousands, we can exchange those for one hundred thousand. Ten thousands can be exchanged for one ten thousand. Ten hundreds can be exchanged for one thousand. Ten tens can be exchanged for one hundred. 10 ones can be exchanged for 1 10. If we have 10 tenths, we can exchange those counters because 10 tenths has the same value as one whole. 10 hundredths counters can be exchanged for 1 tenths counter because 10 hundredths have the same value as 1 tenth. And finally, 10 thousandths counters can be exchanged for 1 hundredth counter. So, if we have 10 of the same counter, we can always exchange those 10 for one counter from the place value to the left. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that was helpful. If you're a teacher or a parent, then please subscribe or go to keystage2maths.com to download resources for this lesson and many more. That's all for now, I'll see you in the next video.